The stiff leg deadlift checklist. If you can tick these boxes, your stiff leg deadlift will be exactly where it needs to be. Now we do a stiff leg deadlift to grow our hamstrings and erectors, so to develop a better posterior chain, not to develop better grip strength. There are a ton of better ways you can do that without fatiguing half of your body. So step one, ensure you're strapping in if you want to achieve any relative success trying to take the target muscles close to muscular failure. Make sure to also do so properly so you can get nice and tight. Now once you've ticked that box and you're nicely strapped in, step two would be to ensure that you are bracing properly especially if you don't wear a belt like me. Maintaining a lot of pressure through your core as you descend and drive your hips back will help you get the most out of this movement and ensure it doesn't get sloppy. Step three, keep the damn bar close to your body. If you're allowing the bar to have a lot of room between your shins, you will have a hard time actually hip hinging and you'll be prone to execution breakdown because you'll be initiating the pull from a worse position, especially if you're using heavier loads. Step four, control the eccentric, the absolute best that you can and ensure you don't go so heavy that it prevents you from doing so because the eccentric range is where 